Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to The Infected. Another day to live through. Better get started. It's early in the morning. Uh, let's bring up the time here. There we go. Six o'clock in the morning, up before the sun, day 11, and it's still summertime. It's June, so yeah, it's going to be a hot one, most likely, but uh, we got some work to do today. Yeah, so in the last episode, I had talked about maybe going up to the um, up to the swamp to the north and hunting crocodiles and making the big crocodile backpack. And we're going to need a full day for that. Um, so I was thinking about doing that today, but I think I changed my mind. And this is based on some comments that you guys left in the last episode. Keep those comments and tips and likes coming. I do appreciate them. And the consensus seems to be I should finish up this back wall before we get uh swarmed there's going to be some kind of a horde i don't know exactly when that horde's going to come but i think uh i think that's pretty good advice so let let's do that oh look at that there's a new key now you press g and you can see your health and stamina down in the bottom right all right well we'll keep that up it's not too intrusive okay so what we need to do is go chop down some trees that's going to be the priority Let's check all the vegetation over here first, see if anything needs to be... Oh, here we go. Potato plants. We have not had any potatoes yet, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that. And grab this one and put that little sprout back in there. And now we got taters. Sweet. Oh, look at them all. They're beautiful. Little brown taters. I'm not going to do anything with them right now, though. I'm going to go stick them in a bin for now, and we'll get to them later. Um, yeah, I had that MRE ready to go for our trek to the north, but again, we're not going to do that. Do these things not stack? No, they do not stack. Drat. So yeah, let's put that MRE away for now. Okay, yeah, let's get to chopping. We've got to chop down a whole bunch of trees and get that fence made up today. And then we'll be ready for the big, uh, this big horde that should be coming. I don't know how big it's going to be or what day, but apparently... Um, people have mentioned that it's going to be, they usually comes on the 10th day. So I don't know what's going on. That's weird because it is now day 11. Maybe they, uh, maybe they slept in and they're coming tonight. Don't know. We'll find out. But I think it is good advice to be ready for that. Um, and we should be in a shelter somewhere behind a fence. Again, I don't know how big this board is going to be, but my guess is it's going to be several all at once and the fence will uh help us fight them off all right so each one of these stacks is uh it's like eight right yeah eight total uh my guess is we're gonna need maybe eight of these um eight stacks or six stacks eight eight walls so that's that that's 48 right according to my calculations right eight times six is 48 Tell you what, let's do this. Let's put up the little ghosty fences, and then we'll uh, we'll know. We don't have to estimate. But I want to get it close as close to the pond as possible. We're gonna have to leave a gap over here in the back. Whoa! Hi, hi. Be right with you, neighbor. <laughs> well, I'll just put that down for now because I can't do that and fight at the same time. Hello? Where you at? You're knocking on the front door, aren't you? Oh, hi. Why don't you knock on the door, ding dong? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the door was wide open. <laughs> Man, it's a good thing these things aren't very bright. Uh, do I get my arrow back? I guess not. Why am I losing all my arrows? Is my arrow stuck in your head? No. Ooh, what is that? I just got off you. That's disgusting looking. Clay. Doesn't sound healthy. Why are you eating clay, lady? All right. Let's, uh, let's go back and finish this job over here. I guess we'll close the front. Oh, did I burp, 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 burp. Oh, hi, sheep. You want to come in? <laughs> I didn't think so. This is good eating, though. I like some lamb chops. Get over here. Little lamb chop. Little Bo Peep lost his sheep, and I'm going to eat it. <laughs> All right, I'm back. It is now raining, and I'm putting the fence back up. Or at least the, uh, the blueprints for the fencing. Because we got interrupted earlier by a Vambi and a Sheepy. So, yeah, this is, uh, that should fit just about almost perfect. Look at that, not too shabby. Um, actually, we don't even have to do that because we got this piece. Duh, just grab it and move it. 
Yeah, there we go. Alright, save on wood and time and energy, and that's just gonna have to do. I don't think Vambies can squeeze through that, can they? I guess we'll find out. Ooh, lightning! Alright, let's fill it in. Now we need, um, how do you grab these things? There we go. We're gonna need ropes too. I think it's four ropes, each fence, and six logs. So, yeah, it's gonna take a bit of time, but we'll go ahead and throw in all the logs first, and then fill in the ropes afterwards. Six logs in that guy. Yeah, this is um, just busy work, but it has to be done. we got to get this fence up. And as I was saying, I want to put a um, we'll put a gate back here. But the gates are a little more expensive, and I think they require... Was it copper? I think they require copper ingots. I don't have any copper ingots at the moment, so it's going to have to wait for the gate. We just have to go around to get to our tuna pond. Or maybe I can make like a platform and then drop down. Now that's a, that doesn't make sense. Wow, hi lady. Okay, uh, it's just one, just one, one little old slave. Easy, easy. And I get my arrow back, thank you. Yeah, maybe that horde will come tonight. We'll get a band-aid, that's nice. And we shall be ready. And we're done. And pick up that stick. Let's go check the crops over here. Anything need to be plucked while we're down here? Nope. Look at all the watermelons. We've got so dang many. Um, in fact, can we take one right now? Oh, we have one. Shoot. All right, well, let's eat that one. And we're going to have to harvest one so we get a seed. There we go. Get that little dude in there. Little dude in there. Okay, what time is it? Three o'clock. Let's go take a walk. I think we're going to head out um, to the north. And actually, we could follow the river all the way over here and check this Vambi base. We're not going to go to the Crocs right now. Yeah, I just don't think we have the time for the Crocs. I'm not sure we have the time for the base either. That's pretty far. <laughs> Or we could just sit here and wait for the uh, this blood moon thing. I might make up some more arrows, actually. I think that's what it's called. It's like a blood moon. Uh, oh, we got a copper. Grab that. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Copper fragment. There we go. Beautiful. And we have some iron here as well. So much iron. I mean, we're going to have to spend our iron and something so we might as well do this i mean look at all of it so much of it we've got aluminum and aluminum, aluminum, aluminum here as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got ten we can make our tub again i just hate spending all that iron on a big tub although i wonder if the tub will collect rainwater oh maybe that's how it works all right well let's do it hold on let's make some space here we're going to pick up all... Oh, there's some iron over here, too. Yeah, we're going to pick up all the iron. Is there a quick way to transfer these things? No, of course not. That would be too sensible. We're going to make a tub, baby. And take a bath. No more bathing in the tuna pond. That'll be nice. <laughs> yeah, well, they will fit. That's nice. But I wonder how heavy we are now. Oh, we can still move. Is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. All right, let's get that. Let's get a tub out. Put the tub in the backyard, maybe? Like over here? Sure. All right. It is a placeable. Yeah, we can always move it if we don't like it here. Oh, it's just a tiny little thing. How am I going to fit in that? Holy cow. I guess I can just put my feet in and my head, but I'm not sure my butt's going to fit in that. <laughs> All right, let's add the mats. 10 iron ingots, and oh man, the glass is clip. Uh, the grass is clipping through. The glass is cripping through. Check out the glass cripping through. All right, it's filling up. It is literally filling up with the rain. That's fantastic. Now, apparently we can make it. Wow, hello. Got a whole fence now, you stinker. Try to get in now. I should go grab my hammer, dude. These guys are doing a little bit of damage. Wham! Right between the eyes. And now we gotta go out the front to get it. Yeah, we're gonna have to put a gate in the back at some point. Um, again, I think that's two copper ingots. Well, we gotta check that price. So 
that way we can get to our tuna pond. Oh, there we go. Six tater spuds. <laughs> her name must have been Spud. I thought her name was Irene. Oh, speaking of tater plants, do we even need to get them right now? We need, we need to make a kitchen. We need a, um, a special stove for that, though. Yeah, we need a special stove um, so we can start doing some cooking. We just don't have that technology. Stove tech. We need to find the stove tech. Once we get the stove tech, we can start making some more nutritious meals that'll last longer and uh, even increase our health and stamina, I think. Oh my gosh, that water does not look good. Is it acid rain? I don't want to get this infection, man. <laughs> All right, well, let it fill up. That's going to be great. Then we can just dunk our, um, our canteen in here and then dump it out into the crops. Probably should have put it closer to the crops, huh? I wonder if we can move it with the water in it. I'm not sure. Oh, we can use it. Now, is that fresh water? Is it potable? Got clean water in here right now. I'm not sure. Let's try. Let's well, let's have a little cooked meat here. That makes you thirsty. Let's drink a little water. And we've got 25 units of water in there. Let's use this. Oh, yeah. Take water right there. Is it fresh? Oh, it's dirty. <laughs> Dang it. Of course it is. It's acid rain. I told you. It's infected with the infection. And now what do I do with it? I gotta dump it out. Can I dump it back into the bin? Probably. Let me see. No, you can only take water. You can't dump it in. Is that so? No. All right. Well, whatever. And the sun is back out. Look at that. Just like that. The sun is back. All right. We're gonna grab that clean water there. We're gonna have to um, and boil some more tuna water. Because apparently, that's the only way to get fresh water. And this will just be used for um, the crops, water and crops. So I'm going to have to put it a little closer. All right. Anyway, what time is it now? 5.15 is a long way to the base and back. But I think we can do it. Let me get ready for a quick run. Oh, who guys a wolf. There's a wolfie over here. Let's shoot him. I think this is our first wolf in the infected, isn't it? I've seen wolves in the uh, Night of the Dead, but wolves in the Infected is a new thing. Let's see if we can draw them over here. Shooting that straight arrow that does not drop at all. <laughs> and we'll just stab him. And we'll fix this thing up. Oh, he's so cute! He's just kind of cute, isn't he? Oh, I'm so sorry, little wolfie. Oh, look at that arrow right through his spine. <laughs> He's stuck right there. Maybe we could leave him like that as a trophy. Aw. Yeah, we could use a companion. But he'll disappear after a while, so we might as well harvest him. We got hide and meat. One little piece of meat. That's it. It's just a skinny little thing. A skinny little thing. That's too bad. Just want to grab that rock and that stick. And, um, yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, guys. It's 6 o'clock. Energy is really low. I mean, not, not super low, but we're going to have to run a lot. Um, I think we should just stay here tonight. I think, um, yeah, I think discretion is the better part of valor in this case. I don't want to get stuck out there and this blood moon roll in, you know what I mean? So let's not do that. I'm going to make a new spear anyway and probably want to make a few more arrows. So, yeah, let's hold off on that. In fact, let's just make some arrows right now. I'm going to make another uh, five arrows. Woo! Look at that spear go! Where did it go? It's coming down. What goes up must come down. Is it coming down? Holy cow! That thing just went for a loop. All right, well, so much for that. I guess we're just going to shoot this guy. Can I get him? Yeah, I got him. All right, how's that fence? Not good. Well, it's hammer time. Fix it right up. Look at that. One whack with the hammer. And it's instantly healed. Back to 100%. Love it. Oh, look at that. Two copper bits on that guy. That's actually really, really good. Really, really good. Now, I wonder where that spear went. Did it come down? I mean, it went up, but I don't think it ever came down. I mean, not that it matters, because it was just about to go poof anyway. 
But, alright. Let's head back in. I think I might make a, um, a back door. Oh, potato plant right here. Look at that. Alright, grab it. Sure, why not? Okay. Um, what was I doing before I was interrupted by that guy? I was gonna make, uh, arrows. Make five arrows. All right, it is now nighttime. 11 p.m., in fact. Day 11, waiting for the horde. I don't see a blood moon or any kind of moon for that matter. So I don't know. Maybe they're not coming tonight either. <laughs> I wish they'd call ahead and let us, you know, know. Give us an idea of when they're coming. Because this is ridiculous. I don't want to wait here forever. So I think I'll just wander around tonight. Grab a few scraps off the ground. Could use some rocks, actually. Do I have my pickaxe with me? No, I don't. I have my repair hammer. Um, yeah, I might bang on some rocks and see if I can get some more copper. And that's clay. We don't really need clay. And in the meantime, we will wait. Uh, we'll, we'll wait for the horde. And if they don't come tonight, then I gotta get to bed. I don't have all night to wait for them, you know what I mean? Because I need to get my energy back. It's super, super low. So let's just go bang on one rock. And maybe this horde will come. And we'll head home really quick. And if they don't come tonight, we're just going to have to... Um, we're just going to make a run for the swamp in the morning. At least the fence is now made. And if we run into trouble, we can just... Uh, oh gosh, I should have brought a rock bin over here. <laughs> Hold on. One rock too heavy. Yeah. If, uh, if we run into trouble when we're out there, if the Blood Moon happens, we'll just race on home and get behind our walls. Shouldn't be too difficult, right? All right. So I think with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And in the meantime... Oh, copper ore. Nice. And in the meantime, I'm just going to probably go to bed. Yeah, I'm going to need the energy, so I need sleep. Gonna need to hit the sack soon. Oh, 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 hold on. What's that? Oh, it's just one. One lonely little zombie. I'm not even gonna waste my new spear on him. I'm gonna use the old spear on him. Take him down. Boink. Boink. Over here. Dang it. Why are we running away? Did you wanna get boink? Boink. Oop, grab him on his way down. Got him. Shot him right up. Okay. So, yeah. Doesn't look like we're getting the Blood Moon tonight, guys. <laughs> so let's hit the sack, and I will see you. Oh, the spear's gone. I guess it burst. Where's my other one? Right there. I'm going to grab some clean water and eat up. And then hit the sack. Get all these goodies right here. I'll save that for the morning. And hopefully we can find the tech that allows us to make a, um, a stove. That would be awesome. All right. Heading into bed. So the rain's done for the night. Put the tools away. Not going to need these on our trek tomorrow. I would like just to get up, eat quickly, and get the heck out of Dodge. You know, I better go fix up that fence, actually. Man, so much to do. Probably did a little damage. Yeah, not much. Yeah, it's all in good shape. All right. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and have a good night. Bye-bye.